So let's solve this trick question. Given that cosec theta is equal to 13 over 12, find 1 sine theta, 2 cos theta, and tank theta, 1. Sine theta is equal to 1 over cosec theta. Now because sine theta is the inverse of what cosec theta, this is equal to 1 over 13 over what 12. Because we are giving cosec theta as 13 over what 12. So this will be the same thing as what? 12 over what? 13. This implies sine theta is equal to 12 over 13. We can represent this ratio on a right angle triangle. For example, if you have something like a right angle in this form, triangle, here is 90 degrees. Let's call this place what? Theta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Our opposite is 12, while our hypotenuse is 13. Considering this angle, our opposite is 12, while our hypotenuse is what? 13. Our adjacent is not given, let's call it what? X. The next thing is to find the what? Adjacent. The essence is to enable us to calculate cos theta and tang theta. Now, from Pythagoras' theory, we can get the value of what? X. This implies 13 squared is equal to x squared plus 12 squared. If we rearrange this, this will become x squared equal to 13 squared plus 12 minus 12 squared. If we take square root on both sides, square we cancel square, we'll be left with x equal to square root of 13 squared is 169 minus 12 squared is 144. So that x will be equal to square root of 169 minus 144 is 25. So that x will be equal to square root of 25 is 5. It implies our adjacent is equal to what? 5. The next question said we should calculate cos theta. Now, cos theta, cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Our adjacent is what? 5. While our hypotenuse is 13. The third question said we should calculate tang theta. Tang theta is opposite over adjacent. Our opposite is 12, while our adjacent is what? 5. If you find this video useful, please kindly subscribe so that you'll be notified when I upload another video. Thank you.